All of us here at St. John's hope you and your family have been enjoying a really blessed Christmas and that you've been able to get together with friends and with family, even if it's on FaceTime or on Zoom, and that you've been able to celebrate incarnation, the joy of God among us. As we round out the Christmas season, we are coming up to the Feast of the Epiphany, that moment when we celebrate the dawning of God's presence here on earth with the wider community outside of those of the Jewish tradition. Of course, Epiphany is a fixed feast. It's on a specific day. There are 12 days of Christmas starting on December 25th, the 12 days of Christmas, and then Epiphany is January 6th. Here at St. John's, we're going to jump ahead a little bit, get a little bit ahead of ourselves, and we're going to celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany this coming Sunday on January 3rd. And I hope that you will join us as we celebrate the dawning of light in this dark time of the year and at the end of what has been a fairly dark year for, for all of us. So come and celebrate with us in word and in song the brilliance of God's love and presence among us. The service will begin with an organ prelude by the French composer Maurice Durifle. Durifle spent most of his career, both as a performer and a composer, very intimately associated with plain song or Gregorian chant. This piece comes towards the end of his career, and it shows a lifelong familiarity with plain song. And so he bases it on the introit, the traditional introit for the Gregorian Mass on the Feast of Epiphany. But he doesn't uh, quote it note for note. In fact, he never follows it exactly. It's rather more that he follows the contours and has more of a rhapsodic approach to it. But it's the text that talks about the strength of God's presence. And these are images that come right from the, from the Old Testament scriptures. And so Mari Sturifle calls for the chant to be played very commandingly on the French trumpet. Uh, so you'll hear that unmistakably in the prelude. And then we'll start the service with the first Noel, which we think of as a Christmas carol, and indeed it is, Noel, Noel. And yet most of the verses, uh, verses two through six, really, are all about the coming of the wise men, the magi. And so we are singing this Christmas hymn as we pivot to Epiphany. Um, and then at following uh, the Reverend Dr. Jerry Askew's sermon, which will bring lots of brightness to us, the choir has a little bit of a surprise. We're going to sing a very traditional text, brightest and best of the stars of the morning. But this is a setting by the very off-kilter composer, English composer, John Gardner. This is from a collection of uh, pieces that he calls five hymns in popular style. And this really sounds a bit like the opening of a Broadway show, and it's really quite a bit of a romp. And it goes on like that, very perky, very exciting, and it flies by in a matter of about two minutes. At the offertory, the choir will sing Healy Willen's very majestic setting of the Isaiah passage that will be read earlier as the first lesson. Arise, shine, for thy light has come. Again, this idea of epiphany, the dawning of God's light and love here on earth. At the communion, the choir will sing a very expressive uh, choral hymn by the New York-based composer Harold Friedel. Saw you never in the twilight, when the sun had left the skies, up in heaven, the clear stars shining through the gloom like silver eyes. This text by Cecil Francis Alexander, very tender and introspective, and uh, Friedel matches it with some very lovely and uh, touching harmonies. <laughs> So very tender. And then at the end, uh, we'll be singing uh, What Star Is This, which is a really beautiful tune from uh, the German tradition, but it has um, a very Christmas carol flavor to it. Uh, originally, it was matched with the tune Pur Nobis Nasitur, For Us Is Born This Day. And then we'll go out with a procession on the organ, thinking about how the wise men were going to Bethlehem. And of course, 
at the sequence, we will be singing We Three Kings of Orient Are. So we have all of the great epiphany tunes and texts at play. We hope that you will join us and celebrate the light.